After the Prophet ﷺ, he tells them the second thing. He says, وَرْضَ بِمَا قَصَمَ اللَّهُ لَكَ تَكُونَ عَغْنَ النَّاسِ That be content, be happy with that which Allah has given to you, you will become the wealthiest of people. And we would understand that on a daily basis, we engage in this kind of thought process that whenever we see somebody who has something that we might not have in our possession, our immediate thought is that, why don't I have that thing? Why am I not driving that car? Why is my house not as large as that house? Why do I not have these things? Why do I not have these material possessions? Why do I not have it? And more importantly, why do they? And the Prophet ﷺ, he is telling his Sahabis that be content with what Allah has given to you. So many blessings he has showered upon you, ni'mah upon ni'mah, blessing upon blessing, barakah after barakah. He has given you the ability to see, he has given you the means to speak, he has given you the means to walk and talk, all of these things he has given to you. And despite the fact that the likes of you and I would abuse these and do things that we are not meant to do by them, still he gives us the ownership over it. And when we forget these things, we would then realize that look at the people who are around us, look at the people who are all over the world, the means and modes by which they are being tested, the things in which Allah Azawajal is causing them to be engaged in, the manner in which they are being tested on whether or not they would actually adhere to the deen of Allah. Nobody is blowing up our homes, nobody is bulldozing our houses, nobody is stealing away our children from us, nobody is putting a gun to our head and saying to us that you either renounce your Islam or I will take your life, nobody is putting this test in front of us. But because we are so weak, because we are so weak, Allah Azawajal has put us in a place where our test is that we have been given so much in terms of material possessions, we just want more and more and more of it. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has said that when you are looking at the people and you want to be like somebody, look at a person who is greater in the deen. But when you are thinking about yourself in terms of the dunya, when you are thinking about yourself in terms of your possessions, what you want of the world, look at somebody who has less than you. And then you will understand and you will appreciate everything that Allah Azawajal has given to you. You will not want anything else.